Hello everybody. As promised, I am here with a beer review. Unlike promised, however, it is not actually the beer that I had on St. Patrick's Day, because I couldn't find that one. I searched high and low at one store, and then gave up and bought something else. Pretty interesting. And that is... Bell's Java Stout. Stout brewed with coffee. Looks like it's from Comstock, Michigan. An enchanting beer made from the marriage of a custom blend of fresh roasted coffee beans with a dark and roasty stout. Sounds interesting. some black Martian, a blend from Tinderbox, which I thought would go well with this. I'm not sure if it will. But... It's a little bit windy, so I think my pipe's going to be burning pretty hot here soon. Let's try this. Cheers. getting a whole lot of coffee. There are notes of it, but it's not nearly as strong as I was expecting. The beer flavor itself is quite good. It's very rich, very dark. That sip tasted a little bit stronger. Okay, now it's starting to come, come through a little bit stronger. Almost an espresso type flavor, just not nearly as strong, but that's similar. $17. This is the most money I've ever spent on a single purchase of beer. Oh yeah, this is burning really fast. Wind!
by the time I got to the register and they told me the price, I was so excited to try it that I didn't care. I'm not sure I would buy it again, though. Okay. Now that really tasted like coffee. getting better. I had another beer. One of the other beers I had on St. Patrick's Day was a Guinness Black Raspberry, which I would not recommend. It had the same kind of thing going on where when I first started drinking it, the notes of black raspberry were very subtle, and it almost tasted like a Guinness Raspberry Cheesecake. It was really good. I got about halfway down the glass, and it just started to become overwhelmingly sweet. By the time I got to the end, it was disgusting, to be honest. So I'm hoping this one doesn't get disgusting like that, that it's just so much coffee that... sure what it is. Um, I've never really... It was one of the first ones I bought from there. And I, I don't really remember what's in it. It tastes Englishy. Englishy. It tastes Englishy. But with a little bit of kind of black Cavendish flavor. spring, by the way. It's still pretty chilly, but it's warm enough to be outside without a coat, with a, you know, nice heavy sweater on. So, that's progress for Ohio. due to the price, not the taste. The taste is, is it does taste very good. Yeah, stuttering. This is a long video about me drinking beer, so I think I'm going to end this now. Thanks for sitting through this. I hope it was at least kind of entertaining. Oh, the beer that I was trying to find was a shake. 